All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation two to the power of x is equal to x to the power of 32. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of one over x on both sides. So I get two to the power of x to the power of one over x is equal to x to the power of 32 to the power of one over x. And the reason I did this is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x and 1 over x, these two cancel out. So on my left-hand side, I just have 2. And for my right-hand side, 32 and 1 over x multiply to get 32 over x. Now, from here, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 32 on both sides. And if you guessed, we're doing this to get rid of this 32 on my right-hand side. So for my left-hand side, I just have 2 to the power of 1 over 32. Now for my right-hand side, these two are going to cancel out. So I get x to the power of 1 over x. That's all that's there remaining. And now... We want to simplify this because our end goal is to make this in the form a to the power of 1 over a is equal to b to the power of 1 over b. So in that case, if that's in the form, that means a is equal to b. So we already have x to the power of 1 over x over here. So we just need to make the left-hand side be in the form a to the power of 1 over a, meaning this number here has to equal this number. So we need to find a way to make that. Well, what we can do is rewrite 1 over 32 as 2, 2 over 64. And now, remember, this is the same thing as if I have something in the form a to the power of n to the power of m, this is equal to a to the power of m times m. So I can refer, reverse this and rewrite this as 2 to the power of 2 to the power of 1 over 64. And 2 to the power of 2 is 4, so I get... 4 to the power of 1 over 64 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now, this still isn't, these two numbers still aren't the same. So what we're going to do is repeat the process once again. 1 over 64 is the same thing as 2 over 128. And I can rewrite this as 4 squared to the power of 1 over 128. Now 4 squared is 16, so I get 16 to the power of 1 over 128 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And they still aren't the same, so I'm going to repeat it once again. So I get 16 to the power of 2 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. Now this is the same thing as 16 squared to the power of 1 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now, 16 squared is equal to 256, so I get 256 to the power of 1 over 256 is equal to x to the power of 1 over x. And now notice that these numbers are the same, and this is in the form, as I said, a to the power of 1 over a is equal to b to the power of 1 over b, meaning a is equal to b, so x is equal to 256, so this is my solution to this equation. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation 8 to the power of x is equal to 32. So to solve this, I'm going to start by taking the log on both sides. So I get log of 8 to the power of x is equal to log... 32. And now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So this is turned into b times log a. So log a to the power of b is equal to b times log a. So now in the case of log 8 to the power of x, we can think of x as b, so we can move x to the front of the logarithm. 
So I get x times log of 8 is equal to log of 32. Now, from here, I'm going to divide both sides by log 8 because we want to isolate x because that's what we're trying to find the value of. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 32 over log of 8. Now, log of 32 is the same thing as log of 8 times 4. So I get log of 8 times 4 over log of 32. And if I have something in the form log of a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, this is going to equal log of 8 plus log of 4. And I have this over log of 32. Sorry, I have this over log of 8. Now, this turns into log 8 over log 8 plus log 4 over log 8. So now these two cancel out to get 1. So I get x is equal to 1 plus log of 4 over log of 8. Now, log of 4 is the same thing as log of 2 squared. And log of 8 is the same thing as log of 2 to the power of 3. So now if I have something in the form log of a to the power of b, again, I can move b to the front, so turn to b times log a. So that's exactly what I'm going to do with both of these. So I get x is equal to 1 plus, I can move the 2 to the front. So <clears throat> 2 times log 2 over the same thing with 3, so 3 times log 2. So now these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 1 plus 2 over 3, which is equal to, 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3, so 3 over 3 plus 2 over 3, which is 5 over 3. So x is 5 over 3. Now, how do we know that this is the right answer? So going back, we have a to the power of x equals 32. And we're plugging in 5 over 3. So we get 8 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 32. Now, if you already know, 8 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3. So I get 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 5 over 3 is equal to 33 is the same thing. 32 is the same thing as 2 to the power of 5. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So these two 3s cancel out. And I get 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 2 to the power of 5. Or this is the same thing as 32 is equal to 32. This is right. Now, I also have a second method of solving this problem. So for the second method, we have the same equation, a to the power of x is equal to 32. And this is a simpler method. So for this method, I'm actually just going to start by rewriting these two numbers. So 8, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 3. And 32, I'm going to rewrite as 2 to the power of 5. So I'm rewriting both of these as the same bases, which now it makes it much easier to solve. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of x is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3x, which is equal to 2 to the power of 5. And because these two have the same bases, 
a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, meaning m is equal to n. So 3x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 5 over 3. So that's another method of solving this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.